Hi everyone, it's Linda, Mrs. J. Bob here again. The other day I went into Target. We've had some super, super cold weather and then we had a few days where it was absolutely beautiful. It was in the 50s, it was a melty, slushy, muddy mess. So I went into town to get my truck washed to try and get some of the mud and salt and all the grime off of it and popped into Target and uh, stumbled along their NYX counter and they had a lot of their NYX buy one, get one half off and had some new products that I hadn't seen yet. So I picked a few of those up and I'm gonna share those with you. So to start, they have this new line of baked products and they're packaged like this, really cute little packaging. They've got a bow, you know, and then the back. And so they have baked shadows and they also have, well, that's upside down, um, some baked blushes. So we're gonna look at those today. I picked up two of the blushes and so there's this one, and it is in the color chiffon, and there's the back of the packaging. Here's the color of the blush itself. It's kind of a mauve kind of a color. Very, very soft, and there it is on my finger. And there's the color there on my hand. Haven't worn this yet, but I'm excited to try it because it's something a little bit different from the peachy pinks that I usually wear. So that's chiffon, and that's the NYX Baked Blush. And then the other one I have is a really kind of a pinky color, which is atypical for me, and this one's called Full On Femme, and it is decidedly very, very pink but it doesn't come off as pink on the cheek. And there is that color. And we'll swatch it here for you. And there's the pink and there's the chiffon. So this is full on femme and that one's chiffon. They're kind of dry and powdery. We'll see how I like them once, once I start wearing them. Then for eyeshadows, I picked up four of the baked eyeshadows. And this first is kind of a golden yellowish beige white color and it's called Moonshine. The name makes sense to me. And so there's the color of that. And there that is on the skin. Kind of got a nice shine to it. Not too powdery, not flaky. I'm good with that. This next one is called Carmella. And I can't tell if I'm glaring at you or not because of the light. This one's kind of a, a browny, taupey sort of a color. Okay, kind of taupey gold. And there's what that one looks like. This third one is called Chance, and I was a little disappointed in this one because I thought it was going to be decidedly purple because, you know, from, from first glance, it looks like it's kind of purple. Once you start swatching, it's more of a dark, taupey kind of a color, and if I put that on so that you can see what it looks like, there it is on my hand. So not a whole lot of purple to that, and that again is called Chance. And the last one I got is called Vesper. And I also thought this one would be a little more on the purple side, and it's not. It's kind of, it's really a very taupey kind of gray color. And that one's here. So here's Vesper, and here's Chance. But all in all, I like these. The blushes, I think, were $6.99. The eyeshadows, I think, were $3.99. But again, they were buy one, get one half off. I also picked up the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I'd heard this recommended and thought I'd try it. This one is in the color CW03. It's got the doe foot applicator. And so, just looks like that. I used this today as my under eye concealer and highlighter and so far I like it. It's not settling too much on me. It's a pretty pretty bright kind of color. That's, that's it right there. It blends in pretty well. It 
and it's nice and creamy. It's got a good feel to it. It uh, you know, doesn't get immediately dry, or tacky, or sticky, or anything like that. And so I really like that so far. I picked up two of the NYX Plump It Up glosses. Uh, there's a, a pinker shade, and this one is in Elizabeth. They're all named after people. And that's Elizabeth. Let's see if we can get a swatch of that one for you. Okay, there's, there's Elizabeth. And these feel good. They make your lips kind of tingle. There's, there's something definitely going on there when you put these on. So that pinker one is Elizabeth, and then this one is Angelina. So I don't know, maybe Angelina Jolie lips appear on your face when you wear this one. This one is more of just a, a vanilla kind of colored one. And it's, it's more clear. It's going to shine up and move around anything else that you've got on your lips. That's, the, that's this one here. That's Angelina. I also picked up two more of the butter glosses. We've discussed my love for the butter glosses. This pink one is called Vanilla Cream Pie, and I was a little concerned about it because it's pretty pink, but on, I like it. We'll get a swatch of Vanilla Cream Pie for you. And there is Vanilla Cream Pie. And the last butter gloss that I bought is this one, and this one is creme brulee. I don't know why the top and the bottom of the container aren't the same color, but they certainly are not. And there's that one. This one's a little bit peachier, a little bit lighter, a little bit more on the neutral side. And there's that one. So here's cream pie. There's creme brulee. And so, you know, let me know how you like the NYX products. Go out and try some and let me know how they go. Um, as always, everything will be down below in the description box. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And remember, it's always all about aging gracefully. Bye!